Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can activate a new hard drive on your Windows 10 operating system. So let's say you have added a new hard drive or SSD drive to your Windows 10 operating system and you want to see that hard drive into your PC. So let's say you have added the new drive and it's not showing up uh, with the new letter E, let's say. So in my case, I have this local uh, C drive and D drive and let's say I have added a new hard drive which is not showing up here. How to activate that drive we are going to see right now. So I'm going to just minimize this and first of all what you need to do is you need to go to your search bar and search for partition and when you just type few letters of a partition you will be able to see this option which says create and format hard disk partitions. So I'm going to just click on this option and once this window opens, I'm going to just maximize this window so you can see it in a better way. So most probably whenever you install or whenever you add a new hard drive or a SSD drive into your Windows 10 operating system, it's going to show up here at the bottom but in my case I'm going to show you how to do the same the steps will be exactly the same which I am going to show you but your drive will appear here at the bottom okay so once you see your drive it will say unallocated okay so just go to that uh, space where you will see your drive with the uh, amount of memory it will show how much GB it has and it will show unallocated and on the top you will be able to see black bar here okay so just right click on that new hard drive and then click on new simple volume again your hard drive may appear here at the bottom and not on this uh, right side of the C drive so wherever you see unallocated and if it shows the amount of uh, space which your hard drive actually have then just click on that drive and make sure it's black on the top and then click on new simple volume and here first of all you will see this uh, set of wizard I'm going to just click on next and then you can uh, match whatever amount of space hard drive you have added to your system so if it's one terabyte then it will show one terabyte here in my case it shows uh, 73 uh, GB space here so just leave everything as default and then click on next and here you will be able to choose the letter for your drive so in my case uh, the letter C and D is already allocated to some drives so the next logical letter here appears which is E so I will just leave it as E but you can also change these letters to other the letters for example F or G and then I will leave everything as default and click on next and here you need to make sure that the file system here is NTFS you don't want to choose XFAT or any other uh, file system just make sure that the file system here is NTFS and volume label so volume label you can uh, give any uh, name to your volume label for example data disk and this name will appear besides your uh, drive letter okay so E and then it's going to show you this label and then leave everything as default and then click on next and then click on finish which is going to uh, format this data and you will see uh, this message which will pop up here and it will say uh, data disk E and it's going to show you this message and it says data disk C is now activated so you can now just close this window and then I'm going to once again open my uh, this PC section window here and you can see new uh, data disk appears here with the letter E right so this is how you can activate a new hard drive on your Windows 10 operating system. 